Hi everyone, I wanted to share my latest fun tech tip that I found, which is creating an app for a phone. Um, so you use Google Slides to make, um, you can kind of do a couple tricks to make this act as an app on a phone or an iPad. So I know a lot of us have probably seen those really cool Bitmoji classrooms where everything is clickable and it's a nice way to organize resources. Um, so a phone app is another fun way to do that for our students or families or colleagues. I got this idea from the AAC coach. She shared this teacher TikTok K Sam teaches. So um, she has on her TikTok a really quick video of how to do the, this and make an app. I'll go through those quick tips and then show you how I um, customized it to be an AAC support. So if you go to a blank presentation, the first thing you need to do is make it the size of a phone. So page setup, and we will go to custom and type in nine by 14 will give us the correct size. So then if you want, you can go background um, and insert an image. I always lately have been doing like a tie dye or watercolor. Um, so you just will add that. And then I added insert shape. So I used this shape to kind of simulate the phone and then just drew in those icons. As you can see here, um, I have a separate page for each thing that you're gonna click. And the way that you make icons or words clickable is, I have this lamp one, so this is gonna link to all of my how-to videos for lamp. And you can see here that it links to slide 11. So if I right click it and go down to, I don't see link, but you can also get it up here. There's a link or you can do insert link and select the slide that you want it to link to. So here we'll do a little tour of the app. This is what it's going to look like on a phone, but I'm just on my computer here to record it. So when I click lamp, you can see here are all of the how to videos that I have linked. If you want to share via airdrop, we can come here and watch the video. The back arrow will just take us back here and the home button will take us to the home. So then I have videos for Proloquo and I'm working on them for other apps. So I'll just keep adding more. So how I'm picturing using this app is to send it to families, um, to my colleagues, to paraprofessionals. I also want to download it on all of my trial iPads and anytime we get a student an iPad, um, just so a lot of resources are going to be all in one place and it will automatically update anywhere you kind of download it. So the trick to make it an app on the home screen of your phone is that you open the website, the Google slide on a phone, then you do this little export button and you say add to home screen and it will add right there as an app. And then anytime you open it um, a new time, any updates that I make to my Google slide will automatically update to the person who's opening the app. So that's really cool. Um, and so I'm just kind of still under construction, working on adding some different resources and training model modules again. So it's all in one place and it's kind of fun because it's an app. So I obviously have this slide in edit mode right now. And when I share it with people, I want it to be stuck in present so they can click around on it as if it's an app and not be editing it. So what we're going to do is you take the web address and at the end, we're going to delete anything beyond this slash where it says edit, delete, and we're going to say preview, question mark, RM equals minimal. And then there it's stuck in present. So that's how I have it so that we can click around. And um, I just turn this into a bit.ly link so that it's really easy for me to text to people, email, put it in your Google Classroom, however you wanna use it. Um, so I thought this was really fun and I wanted to share it with um, the AAC world to see what other kind of fun things people come up with um, because you could really even make your own AAC app with this. Um, so just a lot of different cool things were running around in my head. I'm using it as sort of like professional development and support. Um, so as always, I hope this is helpful and I hope you have fun making an app.